They're top of the league. They've got six international players in their ranks. But what makes the team from Wadi Al Nis different is that to a man, they're from the same family. The Abu Hamad clan are dominating Palestinian football. On the pitch and on the sidelines, three generations are represented. On the outskirts of East Jerusalem, they take on rivals from nearby Ramallah. Brother passes to brother, father to son, cousin to cousin. Family bonds, the secret to their success. We are family, thank God. And this helps on the pitch every time. It's the secret of our success. Politics are never far away, but football provides a release for Palestinians living under occupation. Despite the rain, the supporters stuck it out. And when the goal came, family in the stands and on the bench joined the celebrations. Every person in this pile of bodies has the same surname, something that no doubt complicates the job of officials. The more lonely role is that of the Wadi Al Nis coach. He's the only person in the club not to be part of the family. It's down to him to keep them winning, but keeping them together could get tricky. An effort by a Saudi Arabian team to poach one of the star players only fell apart over visa issues. But for now, the Abu Hamad family are marching on. Well, despite only arriving 45 minutes before kickoff because of delays getting through Israeli checkpoints, despite two power outages through the course of the match, and despite this persistent rain, Wadi Al Nis have won again another 1 0 victory, keeping them at the top of the league. The village of Wadi Al Nis only has 900 residents, and they don't even have their own pitch. But that doesn't stop them being football crazy. For now, you'd be hard-pressed to find Wadi Al Nis on most maps. But if the team continues in its winning ways, all that might change. Tom Rayner, Sky News on the West Bank.